Okay, I was trying to understand the there was a comment made in a movie years ago and it didn't make sense to me then and I thought, well, I'm going to tuck that away in my mind because maybe I'll understand it later. There's a lot of little comments, or not commas, things that are said. Sorry, I'm trying to get rid of that wrinkle in my neck when I lay down. See? Anyway, maybe if I don't lay down, it'll go away. Oh, heck. I'm old. Lots of people are old. They can handle it. Little kids aren't going to want to watch me talk about socialism anyway. So anyway, there was um, a scene in the movie Shadowlands where um, C.S. Lewis is talking to his um, friend Joy from America who later becomes his wife. But anyway, She's saying, well, we're both Reformed atheists. She says, well, we have a lot in common. She says, we were both communist or social. I can't remember. The, the idea in my mind is socialist, communist. I don't understand either one of them. I understand capitalism. But anyway, so at the time, and I was like, uh, she the thing that she said that stood out in my mind and that I remember was that she said, Well, that was just the way you were. You either were something and you ruined a fascist and you conquered the world, or you're a socialist and you saved it. And I was watching this show about how the royal family had not had a raise for years and years and how they wanted a raise. And then I was thinking, oh, I can understand why socialism was so appealing. Because about the same time when I was like around kindergarten, just a second, sweetheart. Okay. About the same time I was in kindergarten, there was a huge um, depression, maybe? Inflation, inflation. Where everything ended up costing more and so everybody was upset because they couldn't afford it and there was people were unable to buy gas and basic things we had just recently we had one of those everyone it's like everybody wanted jobs and they couldn't find jobs i know that's that's how i ended up here was because there were no jobs in mississippi but there were jobs in utah so came to utah to get a job I didn't end up getting a job, but that's why I came here. Anyway, um, so socialism, the idea is that the government takes care of everything. And, well, I can see the appealing. I see a lot of things in this movie that remind me of the book 1984, which I just read. And in the, in the book, The Party or the one in power, which is basically socialist, has everything, and, and they're talking about the crummy state of everything. And the whole feel or vibe of the situation, it's like cold, and it takes forever just to get somebody to fix some paint on a windowsill. Things, it's like, Things don't work so well, but I can see how it could be appealing, whereas before I didn't think it was appealing at all because I was raised with Ronald Reagan and capitalism, where if you need something, you'll find the way to buy it. And I think that must be the case with our gas prices. It's like they keep going up and keep going up, but you know what? People might complain about it, but they always pay for them because they, they really need that. They need their gas. And I think that so many times I think, well... Gas prices can't just keep going up, but somehow they keep going up and people, plane tickets cost more, everything costs more, and things just keep going up. People will find a way to do what they need to do. But in this show us watching people, they actually couldn't. There comes a point where it's like, well, you can get things out of your pocket, but eventually there comes a, a point where the money is not there. So the doors need to be closed, and that's the appealing part of socialism. Well, if somebody out there has the money, and that somebody is in government, they'll take care of everything for you. People still kind of, I like your chair, Mary. 
Mommy, oh, mommy. Anyway, um, people still kind. Just one second. Still kind of do that with so many programs. They have government-run programs. Government gives you health care. Government gives you assistance whenever you need it. Things like that. So the government, you think they're the ones in charge. So socialism is the government takes care of all your basic needs. And I can see how that would be appealing, but it didn't work for some reason. But in the back of my mind, this is the thing I wanted to say. I think... Because in the back of my mind, well, communism and socialism kind of always appeal to me because there is an idea that we learn, and it's called uh, the United Order. And what it is is where it's still capitalist. Nothing changes except for people exist in communities. And it's the, it's the idea that a family and someone else was talking about homelessness and how what are, what are we going to do about homeless people and I thought well actually if everyone fit in a community see the difference between socialism and my idea is the government is the one that takes care of it but I think the government still functions on a capitalist system but families are the communities, and each family provides for its own members. And they pool resources. Now, who's going to let their kids or their parents go needy? They're going to take care of them. And that's the idea behind socialism. So that's the ideas that I like. Like I stated, there are other ideas I don't like. But it clicked, and I was like, oh, okay, that's how everything works. And it made a lot of sense, and I liked the idea. Anyway, I just wanted to note that idea so that I have it for later because as I keep watching, I'll probably have more ideas.